Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. We're going to be going around spreading some holiday cheer by doing some giveaways and then also enjoying a day at the park. We're going to ride some rides, eat some food. I hear Earl the Squirrel is supposed to debut today and maybe we can actually find him and take a picture. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is December 11th, and before we head into Universal Studios, I think I'm gonna swing into Mistletoe Pines and see if they have any good holiday snacks or drinks we can get. And like I said, they're supposed to debut Earl the Squirrel as a character like meet and greet here in the park today. So I'm hoping that we can actually find them. We will get to the giveaways once we get in the park, and we're gonna actually be doing some giveaways to the guests that are here today, and then also to anyone that's watching this video right now, you're gonna have an opportunity to win something cool at the end of the video. I'm gonna be meeting up with some friends here, and we're gonna grab ourselves either a snack or something to drink. I'm excited to look over some of the offerings that they have. Here is a look at some of the festive flavors at Mistletoe Pines. They have a cookie butter Santa puff, a frozen hot cocoa, gingerbread ornament, all very festive flavor food items. And I don't know if they have any like festive like holiday beers. It looks like they just got a mixture of different eggnogs and hot cocos. So I think we're just gonna grab ourselves a Santa puff. Only cause it sounds good, a little Santa puff. There are some other festive treats once we get in the park, but the Santa cream puff kind of caught my attention because they used to have a pistachio cream puff that I had here before that was phenomenal. So I want to see if it's as good as that one that I had before. Also, I just ran into a friend, Taylor, and she brought me a Dalmatian Christmas ornament. How awesome is that? So thank you so much, Taylor. I can't wait to actually put it on my tree. And right here is the Santa cream puff, or the Santa belt cream puff. And look at it, it looks so, so good. We're gonna actually just cut right down into it. Here we go, we're gonna go right to the side of it. And it's got cookie butter on the inside. Oh, wow. That actually looks really, really good. Holy moly. I'm gonna just pluck that right out. <laughs> here we go, we're gonna try it. Okay, that's good. There is a lot of filling in there and it's so cold and the cookie butter is like amazing. What a great little treat right here. I don't know why, but I love all of Universal's like cream puffs that they sell. I've had probably one from every season and this one's up there. Now it's time we make our way into Universal Studios and I love just walking through these archways. It's always so amazing. It gets you right in the mood. If you guys seen in my last video, I'm actually doing a giveaway with Roosevelt shirts. So later on in the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can actually maybe win a Roosevelt shirt with a special surprise in it that's gonna tie into my other giveaway that I'm gonna do over in the Wizardly World. And now, I think we found Earl the Squirrel, so we're gonna hop in line to meet him. Clear the way right here. We've got some toy soldiers and robots coming through. If you're not too sure who Earl the Squirrel is, well, he's kind of a celebrity here at Universal Studios ever since they found him in the tree many, many years ago. And this is the first time we're getting the opportunity to ever have like a photo opportunity with him. On top of Earl the Squirrel, we're also gonna be seeing some other holiday shows that they only do like four times uh, for the month of December. And I think this is the second to last one. And I'm excited because it's a really, really cool show. Right here, guys. And there he is, Earl the Squirrel. I love your shirt. What does it say? I heart nuts. I love nuts. I love it. That is so, so cool. It's so awesome seeing you outside in front of the Christmas tree. It's very exciting. Yeah, I'd rather see you outside than inside, so that makes me happy. Yeah. All right, let's do a photo. <laughs> and now there he goes, walking away. Look at that strut. <laughs> that is too awesome. I love it so much. I think that is so awesome they added Earl the Squirrel to the lineup of characters or people that you can actually come see in the parks. Oh, look, and there's a couple more there, too. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Fancy, and them, too, because they're fun. Oh, that's really awesome. I didn't even know they were coming. I really love that. Hi. 
Earlier I was talking about some holiday shows that are very limited and right here the Mannheim Steamroller Show they only do four shows December 4th and the 11th and then December 5th and the 12th and today's one of those shows so seven o'clock tonight we're gonna try to catch it and this is a really cool show and look at that the stage is all set up there now we're gonna make our way over to Dagen Alley and I'm gonna show you something that's really cool that a lot of people don't know. I mean, a lot of people do know, but a lot of people don't know. Normally, I don't come out to the parks on the weekend because it's so busy, but there are so many good things happening at Universal Studios today. Like I said, Earl the Squirrel, then the Mannheim Show. So I had to come on out, but the crowds do look like it's super busy here today. Universal Studios closes at 8 o'clock tonight because the Orlando Informer meetup is tonight as well. And I can't wait for it to get a little bit darker out to see all the Christmas lights turn on. And maybe we can catch the holiday Macy's Parade as well. Now that we've made our way into Diagon Alley, I want to grab myself a hot butter beer and I want to pay for it in a special way. A lot of people don't know this, but you can exchange your muggle money to get Gringot banknotes and spend it actually like as a currency in Hogsmeade or Dagen Alley. And you can buy butter beers with Gringot banknotes. And I think that's so cool. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna go buy a hot butter beer with the Gringot banknote and then also go around and buy some other people's hot butter beers or butter beers of choice. Right here is the Gringotts Money Exchange and you can go right on inside and you can, like I said, change out your uh, muggle money for Gringot banknotes. Right here, check that out. That is so awesome. So we're gonna go see a teller and make some transactions, hopefully. Did you have a question? Yes. <laughs> Tell me. Where can I buy some Gringot banknotes? Next, please. All right. To the teller on my left. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> How awesome is that? And isn't it so cool to interact with the goblins in there? You can buy banknotes for 10 to $20. I think that's the only ones they sell, either 10 ones or $20 ones. And I ended up buying $50 worth, well, five $10 ones. And now we're gonna go get ourselves some hot butter beer and also give away some Gringotts banknotes to get some butter beer for other people as well. This is what the Gringotts banknotes look like. And take a look, they come in a nice little envelope. This one's for $10 and then you actually flip it over. And this is where it's like so pretty and looks so authentic. And there it is. Now this is, can be used to purchase like food and beverage items here in the Wizarding World. And I love it. I think it's so awesome. Sometimes if you do buy it, you don't want to spend it because you want to keep it as like a little like collectible. But today we're going to give people the option. They can either keep it or they can uh, use it to buy their butter beers. We are only gonna be giving away three of the banknotes today. I'm gonna keep two of them and we're gonna be doing the Roosevelt's t-shirt giveaway and that's gonna be for you guys. So we're gonna give away two Roosevelt shirts with a $10 Gringotts banknote inside the pocket just like this. All you have to do to enter that like giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment below. And we're gonna randomly draw two comments and I'm gonna reply to your comment, get your shipping address, and we're gonna send you out some fancy shirts with some fancy money. <laughs> Right here is the line to get butter beers, and it actually is a pretty long line. So we're just gonna basically just give away free Gringot banknotes right here. Are you guys buying butter beers? Yeah, you can buy uh, butter beers with those. That's a Gringotts banknote. So you guys can have them. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You're welcome. And look at that. That is a huge line. There's tons of people in line to get beer, butter beer. I mean, it's very delicious was really awesome and it made me super happy it's always great to be able to make a little magic in the parks and they were super happy and now we're gonna do it again like I love doing this this is really really amazing here is another place that you can come get butter beer and they actually sell regular beer here as well but I don't think the line is that long it doesn't look like it's that long I think the other line was a little bit longer are you guys getting butter beer yeah, here you can use this to actually buy your butter beers. It's uh, magical money, yeah. So enjoy, have fun. 
if you wanted to, you could use the banknotes anywhere in the parks, but what would be the point of that? You know what I mean? Like if I, if I wasn't gonna keep it, I would definitely spend it somewhere in like the Harry Potter areas. I would never like take this and go spend it, you know, over at Mel's, you know what I mean? It wouldn't feel good. You can also use it to get butterbeer ice cream if you want. Are you guys getting ice cream? Yeah. yeah, you can use this to get your ice cream. Yeah, happy holidays. It's a uh, special uh, magic money. Yeah, enjoy. Have a great one. Merry Christmas. Wow, that is such a great feeling doing things like that. And I hope they get the butterbeer ice cream because that is very delicious ice cream. And if you guys want to win your uh, Gringotts banknotes along with the Roosevelt shirts, don't forget comment on the video, like and subscribe, and uh, we're going to pick two lucky uh, comments. And I'm excited. I love doing things like this. I just did a giveaway over on Instagram, and I'm going to continue doing some more giveaways until Christmas. So keep your eyes out for any videos. And uh, I, like I said, I'm going to try to do it a little bit different each time uh, the first time I had everyone go over to Instagram today we're just gonna do it right here on the YouTube video so like comment subscribe and maybe you'll win now we're gonna actually head out front and see if we can catch the parade look at the crowds here though I wonder what the wait time is to actually take the Hogwarts Express I'm betting an hour and 20 minutes let's see how close we are we're just guessing oh no it's only 50 minutes that's not bad at all 50 minutes isn't a bad wait. I'm sure you can walk to islands in less than 50 minutes, but what would be the point in that? Looks like the parade starts at 5.30, and that's just a couple minutes away, and a lot of people are already lined up for it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a good spot, but I just wanna see a little bit of it, just especially with this background right here. It'd be so pretty. It's really fun seeing everybody lined up. I mean, this is a really cool parade, though. And we only have a couple minutes. Oh, look, they have a little beer cart right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle here so you can run out and grab a beer as you're holding down a spot to actually get a good view for the parade. I made my way to the front of the park and we're gonna grab ourselves a beer before the parade starts. And I was thinking about trying the Cranberry Kris Kringle. This looks really festive and kind of the thing that I was looking for like as a holiday drink. And I hear good things about it, so I'm hoping that it's good. Here it is. Looks like it's called the Cranberry Kringle Pilsner. I called it the Kris Kringle Cranberry, which I kind of like the sound of that a little bit better, but I hear good things and I'm excited to try it. It's like a pre-parade Christmas beer. <laughs> Okay, this beer is so, so good. I'm happy we got it before the parade. Santa Claus is coming to Madagascar! 
is that parade I love seeing the gigantic balloons and all of the performers it's really one of the best Christmas parades probably in theme parks and I just love it now it's time we actually have to head in for Mannheim steamroller it's just about 6 uh, 15 and we got to find a good spot there's probably a lot of people already here this is a really really awesome show people have told me so I'm happy we get to catch it today Lots of people already here. This is gonna be a really fun concert. And like you can't actually sit, I think, on the walkways. So only on the grass patches. Maybe you can stand on the walkways, I'm not too sure. But the stage looks beautiful and we got a spot already. Welcome to Universal Studios Florida and a very special holiday presentation. Their records have sold more than 32 million copies. They are the number one selling Christmas artist of all time. Universal Orlando Resort, in partnership with American Gramophone, proudly presents The Christmas Music of Mannheim Steamroller by Chip Davis.
Well, that was an awesome show. And how cool, 14 years they've been coming here and doing this. Now, before they actually used to do it every single day, but like I said, it's kind of like a very limited performance now. They only did four this year, four performances for the whole entire holiday season. And in the past, like I said, I think they were here like regularly, routinely, but they're so, so talented. It is such an amazing experience just to just sit there and just listen and just enjoy. One of the things I realized as I was sitting there during the show, I never got my hot butter beer. I came over here and I never actually got the hot butter beer. I ended up running away because I wanted to try to catch the 530 parade. So we're gonna scoop back and get our butter beer today. It's really starting to clear out here and I'm so excited that we got our butter beer. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I am fully addicted to hot butter beer now. It used to be all team cold, but I can't get over the hot butter beer. It is just so good. I have been just thinking about this nonstop. It is so, so good. Look at that. Oh, much too good. Now I think I'll take my butter beer and actually go hang out with my little favorite snake here in uh, Dagon Alley. I think we are done here today. I got my hot butter beer. I had a lot of fun today. Got to see Earl the Squirrel. Got to go around and uh, give out some free butter beers to people. That's if they want to get butter beer. If they want to use the uh, Gringotts banknotes for just like a keepsake, then that's cool as well. And just overall, had some fun. If you guys want to enter the giveaway for the Roosevelt shirts, all you got to do is like this video, subscribe, and comment below, and hopefully you win. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!